What is up, YouTube? Okay, um, there's obviously some things I said on our channel, on my channel, that need to be addressed. Because, uh, people on my channel, I guess, some of them, are not very good at context. They're not very good at... Hey, let's take this person for what they actually said, and not what we want to say that they said. Well, let me try to see if I get a little bit better lighting in here. Okay? I might have to do this. Step away from the... No, that's not going to work. Try to get some better lighting. I probably should have figured this out before I started doing my video, huh? Okay. Um... This is about as good as it's going to get, I guess. Some people on my channel are not very good at context. They find out that I open carry, or that I carry a weapon at all, in general. And they basically say, oh, but you're only doing that because you're scared that someone's going to come hurt you. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, first off, we live in this fucking world. And people do go for no reason and hurt people. So, I wanted to show my EDC and explain why I have each thing that I have. So here we go. First. Flashlight, okay? This actually may help me lighting my video too. Flashlight. Taser. There's a reason, okay? There's a reason why I have that. That is for self-defense. The next thing. A military-grade burning laser. Have it. A. Or one good re one, it's not, a, I can't get it in his eyes, but play with my cat. Well, I don't get it in his eyes. He's okay. <laughs> but, I also have it because with a black marker in the woods, you can start a fire with this thing. Survival, guys. Okay? Next, on my EDC list, you know what else I carry? A Bluetooth headset. Carry that because if I'm ever in a spot where I could charge my phone, you know, and my phone's dead and I need to make an emergency phone call, I can do it. Flashlight. Taser. The dogs outside are barking now. <laughs> Okay. Right here. Mace. Self defense. No, I'm not going to go ahead and attempt to try to make this on. Um, deploy this to show what it is. Because you guys know what it does. Phone case. Firearm for self-defense, okay? As you can see on the indicator, probably. Probably can't see it, but I'll make it where you can real quick. Yes, it is loaded. Okay. There's one. Racked. And the magazine's full. Yes, I carry like this. And no, the weapon is not actually pointed at my body. I'm standing off to the side. I 
carry like that. Ver, that's because that's how the world of today requires you to carry. This it's another military grade laser. This is not a burning laser. I can play with my cat with it. And I can point to things, I can, you know, find a use for this. I can easily signal for help, SOS. Okay. And yes, that was the SOS pattern. This. Flashlight. You know what they're used for. Uh, right here. Flashlight. Taser. Okay. I have it designed that way for a reason. I have my layout that way for a reason. This utility knife, killing an animal, self-defense, well not really so much self-defense, but killing an animal, hunting, stuff like that. This self-defense knife, okay, serrated edge, also Guess what? A window punch and a seatbelt cutter. So maybe I see a car accident where somebody needs to be taken out of a car. It used to be an EMT. Found a good use for those things. Flashlight with a laser pointer. And as you can see, the laser pointer is kind of weak right now. But, it works. It's very dead right now. Flashlight. So I can see things. Like in the dark here. This won't light things up too much. But, it works. Okay? Black light flashlight, which apparently is dead. Hold on. Yeah, it's dead. So that needs to be recharged. That's for your rubber that made that pepper spray that I showed you before. What that does, or what that, what that does, is it allows it, it deploys um a uh, UV dye onto the assailant so that when the assailant is discovered by the police they have a UV dye on the face to shine a black light on it and it shows that he was in fact the assailant if he washes, washes the pepper spray off there's a whole load of things when you're carrying and reasons why to carry now, I don't walk around with all this stuff on me every day. But I have some of it on me every day. I have most of it on me every day. And the reason is for more than just self-defense. Okay? I get called crazy. I get called paranoid. And that's fine. I mean, a lot of open carriers get called that. I, you know what else I even have? I even have a keychain. Keychain is a weapon. Here's my pepper spray. Here's my cat eyes, which goes like this, like brass knuckles. Here's a flashlight. Also grab the use the keychain as a weapon. You go, boom, boom. I have pens, a writing pen, and a tactical pen with a sharp end.
as a stabbing object, as a as a way to stab somebody if I had to. I've never once committed a murder. I've never once um, given the police any sort of problem. I've never once uh, assaulted anybody that wasn't assaulting me. I've never once done any of that stuff. I don't carry because I'm paranoid or, or because I'm violent or because, you know, I want to hurt somebody or something, you know? I carry because, A, it's my right, and B, uh, in case none of you has been watching the news lately, shit's going crazy in this world. Shit is going crazy in this world, people. And most of you are sitting by and letting it fucking happen to you. I refuse to allow myself to be a victim. I refuse to be caught in the next Aurora or Sandy Hook or Columbine or anything like that. I refuse to just lay down and let the government... Oh yeah, and I also have this as a backup self-defense weapon. Okay? But I refuse to let the government... Um, own me as much as they already... Um, even though they already do pretty much. I refuse to let them tell me that I don't have the right to defend myself. All of you guys, you can sit there and you can be compliant to the point where you lose your rights. You Y'all can sit there, y'all can do that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna allow the government to move in and tell me what my right is. And that I don't, that, that I... You know, in moments of fear, I have to wait for the police, which, by the way, in the United States, uh, if you Google it, Google the police don't have to protect you. And you're going to see an interesting article. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. Just read the article. Okay. You know what else I carry? Wallet. Money. ID. All that stuff. That's important, too. You just, there, there's millions of situations that could happen. And you should be ready for them. You should be ready for at least a lot of them. Okay? And that's the way it is. I've had to draw my gun twice already. Twice. I've never fired it. But I've had to draw it. We don't live in the kind of world, you know, this isn't, um, Stepford. This isn't, you know, the, the Jefferson's world. This isn't... This isn't married with children, or, or, yeah, whatever you want to call this, or say that this isn't. This isn't that type of world. Like when the show's over, you don't just flip the channel and watch another show. This whole life here, this is the fucking show. There's no retake one or retake two or retake whatever. This is it. And in this life and in this world, you need to be prepared. Not saying you need to be paranoid. I, when I walk around with a weapon, most times I forget that I have one. I mean, I know that it's there, but I don't think about it. I don't say, you know, occasionally every half hour or so, I'll check it, make sure it hasn't shifted. But I'm not out there going, oh, I have a gun, you know. Or looking at it, oh, that person looked at me, oh, fuck you, okay, all right, fine, don't look at me, you know. I'm not doing that, I'm not doing that. This... Is the last part of my EDC that I will pull. It's my last choice. If things resort to this, it's past calling the police. It's past using a taser or a stun gun. It's past all that. If things move to this, shit hit the fan. Okay? And you got a few seconds to decide what you're going to do. I'm not getting on my phone and calling 911. I'm not. Allowing that extra 15 to 20 minute average response time here in Colorado Springs to let my family bury me and let my friends bury me and then have to go to a funeral and put me in the ground. You can, but I'm not going to do that. Peace. Sub rate and comment below. Later. Deuces.